Mr. Chairman, Madam Executive Secretary, Heads of State and Government, Excellencies, I am honored to deliver this statement on behalf of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. On behalf of the President, I congratulate the UN Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific on its 75th anniversary. The Philippine government has worked doubly hard towards achieving the Filipino people's long-standing aspiration to end extreme poverty. With just one generation to achieve this goal, we acted decisively to put in place the necessary policy reforms and programs. In 2018, we achieved a record low poverty rate of 16.7% and lifted 6 million Filipinos out of poverty. The COVID-19 pandemic has, however, temporarily reversed these early gains, but our resolve remains strong. The Philippine economy grew by 5.7% in 2021, above our targets. Our progress in accelerating the vaccination program and safely reopening the economy allowed the country to further grow by 8.3% in the first quarter of 2022 and surpass the pre-pandemic gross domestic product level. Today's session reflects our collective determination to ensure our region's resilient recovery. As part of our commitment to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, we incorporated the Sustainable Development Goals in the Philippine Development Plan. We are implementing the SDG Budget Tagging Initiative to effectively monitor projects across government agencies. We have started tracking climate-related expenditures in the national budget. Soon, we will include all the SDGs. We have also made progress in the rollout of our National ID Program to facilitate the delivery of social services. The degradation of our planet has already reached alarming levels. Climate risks will continue to worsen if left unaddressed. Greater collaboration is therefore needed to build our resilience against future crises and the growing threat of climate change. No one should be left behind. Let us work together to respond to the critical risks of our times. Thank you.